Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Jacqueline Schultz. I am going to be doing another review today and it is a makeup hack product review. I love these makeup hack product reviews or just products in general. If you've been watching my channel, you would probably already know that because I have already done a bunch of them. As a matter of fact, I am wearing a couple of them right now. I am currently wearing Lash Ease, which is a fiber building technology that they put into a mascara and when you apply it, it makes your eyelashes look a whole lot longer. Then I am also wearing the Flick Stick, which makes the application of winged eyeliner so much easier. I am not going to go into too much detail about these products because I already did reviews on them, but if you are interested in seeing these reviews, I will put the links down below in my description. I also have some makeup product hacks that I am not wearing because they are complete fails, but you can watch those too for a good laugh. So moving on, I am going to be reviewing today the I Envy by Kiss. Have you heard of it? I have, obviously. I bought it and I am super excited to try it out. The Eye Envy is a brow stamp. Kind of like the Flick Stick where you stamp on your eyeliner, you're supposed to be able to just easily stamp on your brows. This product, along with all these other makeup beauty hack products, are for people like me who are not beauty gurus and don't really know how to apply makeup that well and want to be able to do it easily and really quickly. So basically, what you do is you take out one of the stamps. There's two of them in here. You open this up, and just like my five-year-old does with her stamps, you stamp it in, and then you stamp it on your eyebrow, and apparently, you got beautiful eyebrows, and you're ready for a night out on the town. Unless, of course, there's coronavirus out there, and bars, and everything else is not open, therefore a night out on the town consists of you sitting at home on your couch, drinking a glass of wine next to your husband and watching Real Housewives. I really like that these stamps kind of lock into place here so that you won't lose them. I also like that they're labeled left and right, even though I'm pretty sure I would know which one goes on which eye, I think. Oh, it's like a powder. It's a powder, okay. So I don't think it'll be too dark. There it is on my finger. No, it's not too dark. So it shouldn't be like overwhelming, I don't think. I don't know, we're gonna try it out in a second. It doesn't get that much on the stamp. I don't know, maybe you have to rub it? Yeah, you gotta rub it on there. Yeah. There we go, now it's on there. Moment of truth. For my hand, at least, not for my eyebrows. Ooh, look, I got an eyebrow on my hand. My hand looks so surprised to see me. I mean, I gotta be honest, I kinda, I like the shape. I think I like the shape. Hopefully it matches the shape of my eyebrows, but I feel like you can just go in there afterwards with makeup remover, and if it's a little bit above your eyebrow, you can just like, take it off. I don't know, there's really no way to know unless you try it, so I feel like that's exactly what we should go do. Come with me. All right, are you ready? Because I feel like I'm ready. Let's do the right one first. Smudge, smudge, smudge. Ready, set, go. Do you guys see that? Do you see that? Here is my eyebrow and here is the stamp. It's just like not even the shape of my eyebrow at all. At all at all. I have two eyebrows. Maybe it was just the way I positioned it. Like I wonder if I can make it go down more. Hold on, I have makeup remover. One more time and this time maybe I'll go down from here. All right, better, still not good, because I made it go all the way down there, but I can like just take that off. I mean, what do you think? This is the way it looks normally without anything on it, and this is the way it looks with a stamp after I cleaned it up. Let's try the other one. <laughs> Ready, here.
it's not good guys right like it it's not good it doesn't work you can't just stamp on your eyebrows unless of course you don't have eyebrows there to begin with, but it doesn't follow the natural line of my eyebrows. I look silly. Let's see if we can fix this up. All right, I fixed it up. I don't think it's horrible. I'm gonna go back out there and I will give you my final thoughts. All right. Final thoughts on my I Envy by Kiss. Now, it didn't work for me personally, as you saw. Like when I tried to stamp it, it was not going inside the lines of my natural eyebrows. I don't know why I assumed that it would work because obviously when they're making this, they're not making this custom to the shape of your eyebrows and everyone's eyebrows are completely different. So I don't know why I thought it would work. I guess I was just really hopeful, but no, the stamp itself did not work. Now, the positives. I do like the color of the shadow. I do think it matches my eyebrows pretty well. I feel like I can just go in with a small little brush or like a brow brush and just fill in my eyebrows a little bit with this color. So I am gonna keep it. I'm not gonna send it back because I will be using this eyeshadow for my brows. I guess if you wanted to, you could take the stamp, stamp your eyebrows and then just clean it up with makeup remover like I did, but I personally think it's easier not to use the stamp at all. Just use the shadow if you like the shadow and go in with your own brush. But then in that case, I don't know if you actually need the INV by Kiss because this is a pretty basic dark brown color. I am personally going to give it a thumbs down because it did not meet my expectations. I was not able to use the stamps the way I wanted to use the stamps and that was my whole reason for getting it and trying it out. I'm debating whether or not to put it in my Amazon shop because you may want to try it for yourself. Mm, no, I decided I am not gonna put it in my Amazon shop because I gave it a thumbs down and I don't typically put anything in my Amazon shop unless I give it a thumbs up. I was just debating because I actually think I am going to use the eyeshadow. So it's not like a complete thumbs down, but it is, it is a thumbs down and did not meet my expectations. So it is not going in my Amazon shop. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you just like product reviews in general, then you might be into all my videos. Therefore, you may want to subscribe to my channel so you can hit that little red button and turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. You can also go down to my Amazon shop, check it out for all the products I have ever reviewed, including all the products that I just use on a day-to-day -day basis in my normal everyday life. That is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I will see all of you guys again next time, next week, next Friday on the next review. Bye.